a 77-year-old woman, rest pain of the right foot, occlusion of the anterior and posterior tibial artery. In this case, really uh, will demonstrate you the use of various catheters and various guide wires, escalating, de-escalating. Um, and I think this is something that you really need to keep in mind as takeaway message from this presentation. Here you can see the uh, the angiogram initially a single vessel runoff on the perineal artery and occlusion of the posterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery and the anterior tibial artery with a very poor outflow distally as you can see here in the anterior circulation and a slightly better outflow in the plantar circulation patient with uh, uh, arthritis distally and a completely deformed forefoot. I tried to recanalize the posterior tibial artery first because of the presence of a relatively good posterior tibial artery and plantar circulation, but that was not possible. I perforated, uh, but on the angiogram more selectively, you can see that there was still a target vessel here, the dorsalis pedis. That's why I went for the uh, anterior tibial artery in an integrated approach, but also here a failure uh, happens and it was not possible to make a connection towards the distal segment, as you can see on the right hand side. Then a selective angiography of the perineal artery was performed and here you can see in two projections, a very large and good connection, although very tortuous towards the posterior circulation. And this was now my target. Here you can see again the importance of a optimal projection. Here it's really impossible to understand which way the guide wire should go. But here you have this corkscrew appearance, which is uh, still difficult, but you now understand where the wire needs to go. I started with an Armada XT with a Turuma Advantage. Here you can see advancement of both of them. The Armada XT is following these tortuosities quite nicely. And also the second loop is really relatively easy to follow. But then we had some issues in getting control uh, with this Turuma Advantage guide wire. It was not possible at all to uh, to go into the collateral, the wire continued to go into another side branch of this large collateral that you can see here. Then I went back down with my uh, guide wire uh, support wise. Uh, the Turuma Advantage is more supportive than the Turuma GT Gold, but with the T, uh, GT Gold, it was possible to cannulate the collateral as you can see here already straightened out quite nicely the uh, the bends uh, here even more. And now the guide wire has crossed the collateral towards the distality. And you can see it went into the lateral plantar artery this, to the distality. And of course, we need to go all the way back. You can see that at this point it was possible, especially because the entire corkscrew disappeared completely and this enhanced the uh, pushability of the uh, balloon catheter, but at a certain point, it was not possible to go any further. In this, uh, at this point, it's then important to go back up again with your guide wire. Uh, and in this case, I used an Abbott command in order to move uh, a little bit more distally. Here you can see the guide wire uh, now in place, going a little bit more uh, towards the proximal segment of the plantar artery. And then the uh, balloon catheter was advanced, but got stuck again at this point. And then you need to downgrade uh, and de-escalate with your catheter. This is a balloon catheter that is relatively rigid and not really navigational, and therefore I used a support catheter, in this case, a carnelian, and you can see how easy this now tracks towards proximal. And with the Abbott command catheter, it's now possible 
to recanalize again with a loop towards proximal, advance the diagnosis, the, the support catheter towards proximal, and then confirm good uh, positioning by injecting contrast. In this case, the approach was a little bit different. Uh, in the cases that I demonstrated to you previously, I would leave the guide wire in place here. Uh, but in this case, I left the carnelian in place and used the uh, support catheter as a track for the second guide wire that I put in uh, uh, in an integrate fashion. And this now was able to cross the posterior tibial artery and the proximal part of the lateral plantar artery towards distal, redirecting now towards the outflow, not into the collateral, then removing the carnelian. Balloon angioplasty was performed, and here you can see now good filling of the uh, anterior part of the posterior circulation. Patient was also discharged the same day, ambulatory treatment, uh, which is my preferred treatment in these cases, and the patient has become completely asymptomatic uh, afterwards.